This is Gexbot, which for, for now on be known as Sexbot. Uh, it's Gex. It's Gex levels dynamic throughout the day on your chart. So let's see how this works. Uh, real quick, you'll see the hard, gre uh, hard red lines are Gex by volume. So Gex by volume, red, is red lines. The dotted lines are Gex by open interest. So here, Gex by open interest. And then you have here, green, and dotted lines there, Gex by open interest. Um, that's about it. I'll explain the dots in a minute. Right now, let's review how that did today. By the way, this is a Gex bot. I bought Classic. You get half off on your first month with a coupon that's on their page. And after that, it's 50 bucks a month. They have other packages that range up to 250 bucks a month. So let's rewind and play. So from watching the video, so we rewound to 8.40 a.m. Watching the videos, green lines uh, repel and red attracts. But red is also support and resistance. Uh, and if you get caught in some of that, then you get a little bit of, uh, so the bigger red lines are more resistant. So uh, one thing they did say, if you have a big red line down here, and then a smaller red, smaller red, smaller red, smaller red, price is just going to grind up through those resistances. That's another note to have. So let's look at 840 and see how this somebody's dead right now. So you do have a green line. I'm going to mark this with my own little line I made. So we have two green lines. We have one right there, and then we have one up there. So we have a combo right here. And let's see, right click, uh, copy and move this, and we'll highlight the other green line up there. So these are the two green lines, and they repel. So we're hitting this green line right there, right there, and it's repelling faster than me uh, to the girls that I talked to in high school. So, yeah. There's that. So we have the green line right here. And the dot says the green line was out here 30 minutes ago. So 30 minutes ago, the green line was that powerful. Now it's less powerful, but it's still here. So right now you can see immediately that we got a repel off of the green line, which is handy for us because, you know, it's, it seems like an a easy way to make money. I don't know. I've just tried this for the first 30 minutes and I wanted to share it with you. So if you don't want to see it, well, well, what the fuck are you watching this video? I'm going to ask. I'm going to go ahead and ask the question because that's what I do. All right, so we have some resistance right here. Let's go ahead and mark this line as the current resistance right there. All right, green repels, and we have repelled indeed down. Holy shit. All right, so green repels. So in theory... This big hunk of green right here should, should repel the crap out of this thing, or it should speed it up and force it into down here. Now, if it forces it down here, there's the most likely stop, and there's another likely stop. But let's see uh, what it does exactly there. If I can undo that, it'd be great. So we're repelling back up, maybe for a minute at least, coming back into the support area here. So this is going to be support bounce. This is going to be support downs. Here's going to be your big meat and potatoes bounce right there. So we're going to go, and we're actually going to come off this green. We pushed through there, but it took a minute. You see it had to retry it a couple of times. And then it shoved through. So it shoved through the green. So the next support, so the next support area should be here. So it should see some uh, bounces here to here, mainly here. We just saw a balance. Went back down to the green. It repelled back up from the major line right there. So that is the larger line. And so in theory, it should come up to here and then repel back down. Or speed up and go straight up. See what it does. This is action packed, boys. All right. Got a little bit of resistance here. Not much. All right. So this should be the moment. This should be the moment of either a launch up or, in theory, a bounce down because we're going to repel possibly into this next green line or back down. Let's see what happens. All right, we got a nice little rejection. So it is going to repel it downward. So what is our target? Is our target this area right here? Let me go ahead and draw a rectangle around that. That will probably be easier. 
and do a rectangle around this. So that is my red zone. Happens. Oops. I think it just hit trade. That's not a good thing. All right, so here's our hot red area with a hot beef injection line right here. Then boom, are we going for the other green? We stalled out at this red area there. So we got a double bottom forming, maybe. Or maybe we go into a hot beef injection area down here. All right, we're repelling off of this green. And we're at the bottom of these stall areas or support areas. So we got three red lines. Again, they attract and they are also support or resistance. So we attracted down to the red areas. Now we're going to test the green line. We're going to get a lot of reject off of it, maybe. Are we going to push through? Let's see. Obviously, we're getting caught up in the red zone. So the green repelled us up to the next green. So the target would be here or again here. All right, green repels. We should get some reaction right here. Maybe burst through into the next green. There's another green here. And that is a reject. We have minor support here. We have another green right there. So we went into that little green line. I know it's hard to see. Right there. And then we repelled back up to the other green. And now we're repelling back down. So I assume the target would be here or the hot beef injection red down there. Or even one of the greens. We could repel from this green all the way down to this green. And then maybe stall out a little bit in the triple red area. All right, so we repelled off the green. We went through the resistance, and now we either have a push through this green into this green, or we bounce off this green, one of the two, in theory. We push through that green. We push through both greens. The next target should be these greens down there. Obviously, we have some resistance here between these two lines. This is going to be the biggest resistance right here. Okay, we repelled into the other green. And you can see these big circles and these bright candles. That means there was a lot of beef in that move. So we had this green area right here, and we just turboed through it, basically. And the goal right here is what we got was this green area right here. So this green area right here, it's a pretty big green area right there. And that, that, um, that threw it the other direction these greens or we might bounce off these greens they do repel let's see what happens so the green rejected us this green here rejected us and then proceeded to push us into support the red support area here which is the open interest so we came up here it pushed us into this green pushed us into that green pushed us down to support so we're all the way through the next support major support area is right here you do have some bigger open interest areas right here. But the uh, hot beef and potatoes is right here. So you have a strong line there. And then you have an open interest line here and here. Okay, so this Gex by volume right here, which is a solid line. That is our biggest solid line in this whole area around here. So we hit it and it acted like support. Biggest solid line, which is by volume. We had a buy signal here, and then we have a plus sign, which is an additional buy signal. So the question is, do we come up here to this open interest and bounce? Do we come up here to this support area, retest it and bounce? And the answer is yes to both, apparently. So we came down here to this area of open interest and then kind of stalled out a little bit so now we just need to push through this this is the biggest area down here this was the second largest so this is the biggest area down right around here ish and we just bounced off of it twice so that again that is solid is by volume dotted is open interest so we hit this dotted big open interest the biggest solid by volume other than this down here and just having trouble with it. So if green repels and red attracts, this is the biggest red that it probably wants to come up and hit right here. That has the biggest volume and also has the biggest open interest until you get up in here. So we hit a green. The green repels. Looks like that we're not going to repel through it and go for this one. It looks like that we just repelled back down where we just fucking came from. Anyway, that is a demo of a sex bot. 
Uh, in case you're wondering where the dots are, they are five minutes ago. I'm sorry, uh, one minute ago is the bright white. Five minutes ago is the bright green. In other words, this line here was this long five minutes ago, an hour ago, 30 minutes ago, whatever. So let's take an example here and delete this and delete this. Let's take an example. So here's a white line. That means that a minute ago, this line stretched all the way out there. And that means five minutes ago, this stretched right here. So you can see a decreasing pattern from this all the way over there. At least I think that's correct according to the documentation. Anyway, thank you for watching.